morning, half in May High School. I'm Lily, and this is the Cougar Campus News. Health leadership celebrate the month of Socktober. Please donate new pairs of socks this month. The socks you donate will be given to those in need. Please drop off the new pairs of socks to Mr. Jones Class A10, or drop in bins in the front office with your advisory teacher's name taped to the socks. Every advisory class that donates 100 pairs of socks will enjoy a free pizza lunch. The last day to donate is Monday, October 31st. Now, let's check out the first Socktober standings. <music> Students, very soon we will be having our first Hour of Kindness. The theme is Haunted Holiday. Meet by the flagpole in front of the school during lunch next Thursday. We're going to have chalk laid out so that people can draw Halloween-inspired chalk artwork. Join us at lunch next Thursday. Last week on campus, we held the Cornhole Tournament in the Quad. Let's check out some footage from the championship round. The No Stress Club will be meeting today during lunch in A9. Please show up if you are interested in participating in the club. Attention all Vapescape members. Please attend our meeting Monday at lunch in Mr. Olson's room K11. You must attend the lunch meeting in order to earn service hours. No more hours will be given for simply showing up during advisory. We have moved to a lunch format. The art club and the art department will be practicing face painting in the MU at lunch on Tuesday. If you signed up to help with face painting at Pumpkin Festival or would like to get your face painted, please come to MU and join the art club next Tuesday at lunch. Everybody is invited to bring family and friends to our face painting booth at the Bank of America parking lot at the Pumpkin Festival to help us raise money for all art classes. Now, here's a special announcement from Yearbook. Hey everyone, I'm Anna Bryant from Yearbook. Be sure to check your guys' loot mail and fill out the survey from Miss Lundstrom. Doodles! Morning Cougars, have you ever had a selfie with a thousand pound pumpkin? Well, here's your chance. Volunteer at the Pumpkin Festival photo booth and you'll get a free photo with the 2022 winner of the Half Moon Bay Pumpkin Contest. But that's not all. There are four other opportunities to volunteer at Pumpkin Festival this year, about two weeks away. Number one, face painting with our very own Half Moon Bay High School Art Department and Art Club. No experience necessary. Basic training is offered Tuesdays at lunch in room K-12. Number two, bike parking assistant. Ha helping to promote less cars and traffic during the weekend. Who doesn't want that? Number three, volunteering at the pumpkin carving station, assisting kids with carving pumpkins. And number four, assisting Alas's Tiendita and barbecue station for float decorating. So pick your favorite or sign up for more than one. This is the 50th anniversary of the Half Moon Bay Pumpkin Festival, so let's show some real Half Moon Bay High School love by getting out there and volunteering. Hey seniors, don't forget the local scholarship application deadline on Naviance is October 31st. Don't procrastinate, do it soon. You snooze, you lose. The Cougar Varsity Volleyball team lost a hard fought match against the Hillsdale Knights. Emily Jannard led the way with an efficient night resulting in 13 kills and 3 blocks. Gabby Harrison had a team high 3 aces to go along with 3 blocks of her own. In an exciting and tough fought match, the JV Cougar volleyball team fell to the Hillsdale Knights 2 sets to 1. The Cougar offense was led by Skylar Wilson with 8 kills and 2 aces, Aaron Lester with 5 kills, and Amelia 
Ordolan with three three aces. Emilia Ordolan led the setters with 12 assists. The Cougar defense was led by Lillian Unruh with 13 digs. The freshman Cougar team also fought hard against Hillsdale. They lost in three sets, but setters Macy Vogel and Lily Her Harrison teamed up to run some effective offense and both served tough as well. Emma Vasquez and Anissa Eastbra also chipped in a handful of kills each to keep the team in the game. Haley Swem held down the defense side with solid digging and passing. Congratulations to the girls tennis team on winning their first match of the season. Wins came from Charlotte Bergozin, Kate Underwood, Shibana Arunjo, and double teams Gracie Anwar and Maya Anwar and Nora Flynn and Georgie Carter also picked up victories. Anyone interested in playing JV girls basketball? Please attend a mandatory meeting at lunch on Monday in Mr. Roth's room A1. Happy Friday out there, Half Moon Bay High School. The answer to our trivia question from this past Wednesday was the game show Wheel of Fortune. Congratulations to Mrs. Shower and her advisory period. They were the fastest answer. And Mrs. Shower has moved into the overall lead in our trivia standings. We offer a shout out to Mr. V and his advisory class. They were the second fastest to respond. Now today we have a question sent in from Mr. V. The baseball playoffs are underway. And our category today is sports. In particular, it pertains to the postseason. Watch your email for the question from me and have a fantastic Friday out there. Half Moon Bay High School.